Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp sets Tasteful Touches and I used that image, the leafy image and the flower. Waterfront for the splatter dots and itty bitty birthdays for the happy birthday. Card stock, I have got two pieces of white 5x7, no 5x7, five 5 seven. Five and 7 eighths by th 3 and, no it's not, 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. One for the top and this one for the inside and all I've got stamps on is wishing you a most beautiful day. It's not a stamping up stamp, that's why it's stamped already. Not that I'm bothered that it's not a stamping up stamp. Because I'll use stamping up non stamping up stamps, and that will go in there like that somehow. And that's on the top. Oh, and I've got a Knight of Navy um, card base 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth, scored in half and folded. So we need let's stick the inside in. I can forget about that. Right, our front piece. Now I do need a piece of paper underneath because we're going to stamp the diagonal bit with soft sea foam. where I can see it, so I can copy it. <laughs> right, all I'm doing is stamping this from the top right hand corner down to the left hand corner, like that. And then I add another one there, another one there, just like that. Just like that, as Tommy Cooper would say. Clean that off. Take it off there because I need the block for the splatter dots. Put it away. Right then, let's just finish with that. Right, I've got Knight of Navy ink. I have got two masks for the flowers and I've got my flower stamp and I'm going to stamp these I want to do this one the one to the right first which I'm going to stamp there and I'm going to cover that up and then I'm going to stamp another one to the left. Putting a bit of pressure where it's on the paper. Like that. And then, oh, I need that on it. Cover this one up as well. Excess ink off. Clean the stamp. Right with the leaves. Again in light of navy. We're going to stamp one up there like that. I can't use that anymore. Hang on, I've got some more. It's 
put that in the bin in case I go to use it and this one we're going to put here like that and then we want to add one I'm just going to stick that there because it's going to go down here now if I hadn't had that one oh, it might not have but it might have gone on the card the stem of it never mind like that Alright, last but not least, the sentiment. Happy birthday. Don't need that anymore. Put this straight. And with black ink, make sure I've got it the right way. Stamp that there like that clean the stamp right right with your soft sea spray blender pen light I coloured in the inside petals of the flower Coloured them all in like that, and then the rest I just just did a few strokes up to give it a hint of blue. And colour that. Same on this flower. Just a hint of a blue on the underneath flowers, and then I coloured the centres in. Like that, and that is all I done. And then glue it on there. And there we have a better card. No gems, nothing. It's just a plain flat. Oh no, it's not finished. Forgot the dots. Right, on this one, I put them and I just went straight on. This time I want to actually stamp off. I don't want them as dark. So. I might change my mind afterwards. No. So all I did was stamp round the outside of the flower. Like that. Look 
looks better when it's not so dark. Close this up. And there you have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell like icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I've got to say now is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.